The box you see before you contains exactly three red hats and two blue hats. For some unexplained reason, you and two of your really smart friends decide to play a game with this box of hats. You each put on a blindfold and then, all at the same time, pick a hat from the box at random to put on your head. Once everyone is done, the blindfolds come off. None of you can see the color of your own hat, but you can see the color of the hats worn by the other two. In this case, your friends are both wearing red hats. From here, you proceed to take turns, trying to figure out the color of the hat you're wearing. The first person to get it right wins, and gets a medal or something, I don't know. Guess it wrong, however, and you'll perish, never to be heard from again. If you're unsure and you don't want to risk it, you can simply just pass your turn, without any consequences. Alright, friend number one is up first. They take a good look around and say, I don't know what color hat I'm wearing, and decide to pass. Friend number two is up now, and after thinking about it for a bit, they say, I also don't know what color hat I'm wearing, and opts to pass as well. Now you're up. What color hat are you wearing? You might assume that guessing blue would be a good option here, since, well, you know there are two less red hats in the box, making it twice as likely that you have a blue hat on instead of a red one. And yeah, sure, guessing blue would give you about a 67% chance of winning, but do you really want to risk your life on those odds? Should you just go with the safe option then and pass just like your friends did? Well, what if I told you that instead of using probability to try to figure out the color of your hat, we can use some propositional logic and deduce it with 100% accuracy? Here's your chance to pause the video if you'd like to think about it some more and see if you can figure out what color your hat is. And no, you can't just look inside the box to see what hats are left. That would be cheating, come on. Alright, so we know for a fact that the color of your hat is either red or blue. This means that one and only one of the following two statements must be true. Now, instead of trying to figure out which one is the correct one, our plan is going to be to fish out the incorrect one. Because once we can rule out one of these two statements, we'll be left with the one that must be true. To do this, we'll use proof by contradiction. In propositional logic, proof by contradiction is a method often used to prove or disprove statements, or as they're called in mathematics, propositions. Now, in order to prove that a given proposition is false, and we'll use the following as a simple example, the idea is to start off assuming the opposite, that is, that the proposition is actually true. This, in turn, will give us some piece of information to work with, which we can reword or extract information from, so long as we stay consistent with its truth value. And from here, what we want to do is find some other piece of information, usually in the form of a proposition as well, that we know for a fact is true, and use it to directly contradict the initial proposition. In this case, we're implying that these two statements are both true at the same time when we know that's not possible, hence a contradiction. Now, what this tells us is that our initial assumption must have been wrong, since it did nothing but lead us to a contradiction. So, since what we initially assumed was that this proposition was true, then in actuality, it must be false. Alright, so what does this have to do with the color of your hat? Well, like we mentioned earlier, we know that one of these statements is true and one of them is false. Since we don't know which is which, let's go ahead and assume that both of them are true, and see which one ends up spitting out a contradiction. Let's start off assuming that you have a red hat on. This would mean that all three of you are wearing red hats. From the perspective of friend number one, who can't see the color of their own hat, they'd see two red hats just like you initially did. Based off of what's left in the box, they know they could either have a red hat on or a blue hat. So instead of going for a risky guess, they'd say, I don't know what color hat I'm wearing, and pass. Which was what they ended up doing. As for friend number two, they would also see two red hats. Being just as confused as friend number one, they know there's no way for them to figure out the color of their hat with certainty. So, unwilling to guess and put themselves at risk, they'd say I also don't know what color my hat is, and pass as well. Which, again, was what they ended up doing. Alright, well, uh, no contradictions so far. But that's a good thing. 
The fact that both friends passed was actually what happened, so at least going down this path proved to be consistent with reality. Okay, well, let's move on and assume you have a blue hat on this time. Meaning you'd be wearing a blue hat while your friends are both wearing red ones. From the perspective of friend number one, they'd be seeing one red hat and one blue hat, and unfortunately for them, there's still no clear answer. Based off of what's left in the box, they're more likely to have a red hat on this time, but there's still a chance that they have a blue one on. So again, they choose the safe option and pass. As for friend number two, and this is where things start to get interesting, they would also see one red hat and one blue hat. Except this time, the response from friend number one actually reveals some pretty crucial information. You see, friend number two knows that from friend number one's perspective, there's only four possible combinations of hats they could have seen. Either both of you are wearing red hats, one of you is wearing a red hat while the other is wearing a blue hat, or both of you are wearing blue hats. And since we assumed you're wearing a blue hat this time around, we can just ignore these two possibilities, which leaves us with the following two. If both of you were wearing blue hats, then notice that friend number one would have realized that there were no blue hats left in the box, which guarantees that they have a red hat on. So instead of passing their turn, they would have shouted, I'm wearing a red hat, without any hesitation. But since that didn't end up happening and friend number one did pass, then that tells friend number two that this must be the only scenario that's accurate, which involves them wearing a red hat. Figuring this out, friend number two would immediately shout, I have a red hat on. But that's not what actually happened now, was it? See, assuming that you had a red hat on led to friend number one passing their turn, followed by friend number two also passing their turn. While assuming that you had a blue hat on led to friend number one passing their turn, followed by friend number two figuring out that they had a red hat on. This contradicts what really happened, leaving us to conclude that there's no way you're wearing a blue hat. And there we have it. The color of your hat must be red.